Yo, what up? Welcome to another take of Tat Tat Tat. Tat, 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 tat in. in. So I want to thank you guys very much for following, for liking our, our videos, and for commenting on our videos as well. Today we're gonna get into a serious topic, but I have one question right now for the crew: Can you experience abuse in a church? Mm. Let's get into it. Tap in. Welcome back to Tap In. I'm your boy Faith of Sam here chilling with the crew. What up, y'all? Hello, everybody. Do? Hello, hello. This is your beautiful girl, Evie. Period. Hello, hello. It's Davi. And it's your number one, your favorite, <laughs> your favorite host, <laughs> Breezy <laughs> out here, man. Shout out to all my fans, man. Shout out to everybody that's voting me as their favorite, you know, host. <laughs> no, what I is appreciate going on? all. Appreciate all of y'all. Love. Yeah, I like that. It yes, does sir. not get old, man. Yes, sir. May your Delulu come to Lulu. <laughs> It's that hater John be talking about. Yo, it seems like you've been saving that one. <laughs> she has. She has been saving it. All right, so let's get into it. Do you guys believe that um, one can experience spiritual abuse? In the church? Yeah. I mean, I, I would hope the only place to experience, you know, spiritual anything. No, nah, actually, I, I stand corrected. Because you, yeah, you, you can. You can. Yeah, you know, other places you can. Yeah, you places. can. Yeah. Yeah, so, but do you think that, you know, uh, one can experience that in the church? I say, yeah, definitely. Absolutely. Yeah. Definitely. Yes. Right? And if, if one can, then what does that look like? Um, I feel like spiritual abuse can go as far as, like, um, belittle, 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 boom. Belittle ing. Belittle. Wow. Belittle ing. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. It's okay. I sat there, bro. Started like, what? Yo, <laughs> what? Long day. Be long little, day. be little. Be little in. Yes. There you go. Be little in. Yo, we're going to cut that out. But anyway. <laughs> no, we're not. No, we're not. All right. That's there. But anyways, yes, it could go. It could, it could look like uh, a leader a leader belittling. Yes. Um, Maybe a. Uh, Another person, or maybe a use um spiritual um strength, you know, um it could probably it could it could look like you know where like um the older folks the gumun feels like um maybe the youth or I wouldn't let's not say like youth as in like kids let's just let's try to like make it a little bit more older like, like maybe yeah, somebody yeah, who's yeah, like twenty years up twenty some years old adults. yeah young yeah, adults yeah. who like in, either in college or just graduated out of college they look at them or probably just got married you know. Um, they probably look at these people who's probably um, and they're like, oh, they don't they didn't live as long as me. They don't they don't understand what I know when it comes to the Bible, when it comes to spirituality. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like it could look like that, though. Yeah. Belittling, you know, um, other people's faith. Yeah. And that can cause people to test some test, you know, test their own faith real and test God, you know, yeah. and make them question God. I feel like that, that can that could be spiritually. That could be spiritual abuse, in my opinion. That's what it could look like. And like, oh, go ahead. Okay. In some cases, like, um, people, like people of the church, they will abuse you or they'll do you wrong. And like their, 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 their like justification is, well, you know, if God wants it to happen, like it's, it's all God's plan. Like, I'm sorry I hurt you now or mm. whatever, but it'll, Thank no. You, you wouldn't know it at the end? God's like, that's not, that's not what it is. Like, God isn't, God isn't making people hurt you or God, you know, like, you're just being a bad person. I could look yeah, I think I, I could see that. And you're trying yeah, to use, and you're, trying, like, you're trying that's to use cool. the word as a scapegoat because. That's what I was going to Like, say. you see someone doing something. <laughs> And you're like, mm, that's don't, <laughs> don't, mm, because when, when you leave the church, what you be doing? You know? Think of that. That's actually good. That's, what, that's what I was going to say. That's I was going to say, one. like, the church using Bible verses. A lot of churches do that. To they justify it. Yes. Yeah, they'll be like, okay, you know, this is what God said in the Bible. You cannot dress this way. You cannot do. Like, for example, there is, I know there's a certain church that you have to cover your head. Yeah. To go to church. And if you don't cover your head. It's a problem, and they feel like God is not gonna answer your prayer. You know what I mean? So they use the Bible verses just to make sure that they can abuse you. They can keep you because you, they know you are reading the Bible. They know you like you know the words, so they will use that against you. Yeah. So in other words, if I'm listening listening to what you guys are saying, is like people that exert their powers, right? Yeah. 
uh, over somebody else, you know, using yeah. using the Bible. Like, let's say, uh, for example, this is just an example. Um, <laughs> right, right. <laughs> let's, let's say there was an incident between uh, the pastor mm-hmm. and a member of the congregation, right? And the pastor goes to preach, and the pastor is using the word to rebuke, you know, that person or let's say the pastor is using it to place fear, mm-hmm. you know, in that person's heart. Yeah. So would that be considered like you know, okay. yes. spiritual yeah. abuse? Absolutely. Yeah, bro, definitely. Man, spiritual spiritual abuse is um like kind of like what kind of like helps me kind of like understand and define that, you know, <laughs> it, it makes me think of, you know, like mental abuse, you know, physical abuse, mm-hmm. like when somebody's, you know, doing like harm to you. Mm-hmm. So like when I think of like spiritual abuse, like, like who and what is harming you, you know, spiritually, you know, and I feel like, like, like what we just stated in the beginning, like it, it doesn't, it, just, it doesn't only happen in the church, you know, it really happens pretty much anywhere where you can feel like somebody or something is harming you, yeah. harming you spiritually. Somebody is harming your spirit, you know, harming yeah. even that relationship, that spiritual relationship and connection that you have with God, you know, somebody that's, that that's an actual thing that somebody can harm. Yeah, you know, so it's like, you know, um, being mindful of like of your surroundings, Mm -hmm. you know, being mindful of, you know, what what exactly is your influences, you know, Mm -hmm. especially um, I don't want to like stay on the whole church thing. But, you know, like all I can speak for, you know, is what I know. No, I pretty much know it's church. church. It's pretty much church. Yeah. yeah. Like the church is is a big place where, you know, you can experience um, people can, you know, spiritually harm you, um, whether that's from a fellow peer, you know, whether that's even from your own leaders, you know, yeah. the people that's supposed to be teaching you about spirituality can be the same person harming you spiritually, you know? So it's like, it's very important that we be more like noticeable to these things yeah. and know God for ourselves. Yes, and know absolutely. God for ourselves. You don't know God for yourself. What? Then somebody can use the exactly. Bible and verses you. in the Bible exactly. to convince you of something uh-huh. that is not true. And they be bringing a whole bunch of, of stuff course. out of context. And then like, when you use one verse outside of a chapter, outside of, you know, the, the, the whole Bible, yeah, no context. You know, there's no content, yeah. right? You can easily convince somebody that, you know, right. but, that's you can. Yeah. but you're right. It's not just in church. Cause I remember a few years ago. Yeah. I remember when the Scientology <laughs> thing came out. Scientology. Scientology. Yeah. So yeah. they were like this, I'm under rock not house. word. There still is. Right. Yeah. So they, they used to lure, um, you know, uh, celebrities. I mean, mm. Right. And it literally, yeah, you could, you could look it up. Uh, <laughs> there was actually a documentary done about it. Many celebrities came out of it, yeah. but yeah. they, they did speak on, you know, the mental and, and physical abuse that they suffer, you know, from, from that religion. Mm-hmm. Wow, you know what I mean. So they 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 demanded a lot of things from them, right? It was a fascinating um, uh, documentary. Yeah. So I, I would ask anybody. To check it out. So, so interesting. imagine this: like somebody with money, somebody with power, yeah, right, being manipulated. Yeah, it's really easy to be manipulated and being abused. So where does that place the average, you know, person? person? Or, yeah. Okay. So yeah. Because like the the church like the normal church Mm -hmm. like it's Scientology is a cult yes like yeah that's it is what it is that's a cult you know and it's like the normal church it isn't but sometimes it can be cult like it feels like it it, it, absolutely certain things that we do you know you know it just mimics like it looks like yeah like what they do and I think sometimes is you know we'll we'll take um you know um What's that called? We, we'll take, you know, oh, I'm a Haitian. So this is, you know, what we used to, mm-hmm. right? Or I mean, I'm like, African. Try to bring culture. And yeah. culture. Run with it. Like, a lot of things in our culture is wrong. It, yeah, it's not okay. Like, if you, if you study, study the, the Haitian culture, right, uh, we are deeply rooted of devil worshiping, yeah, voodoo. Right, which is voodoo, mm-hmm. yeah, right? So it's one of the, the, like the, the, the biggest religions, <laughs> you know, that practices in Haiti. Yeah. Uh, um, and second to, I believe, uh, Catholicism. Right? Yeah. Ca- 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 
You yeah. see, you see, you see, yeah. God. Catholicism. He made sure I wasn't the only one today, but he made sure. I appreciate you, God. He's always looking up. Catholics. I feel good now. Them yes. people. I feel good. So <laughs> we practice a lot of things in our culture mm-hmm. that are not spiritually inclined. Yeah. yeah. Right. But we even bring some of that in the church. Yeah, that's bad. You know, not even realizing, yo, this is cultural. It's not biblical. Matter of fact, it's not even a culture. It's like this is cultish. Like this is a Correct. cult. Correct. Usually, like if you really think about it. There be some cult practices really kind of like started off in a culture. Mm-hmm. It really kind of started off in a culture. Yeah, go clip that out. Go clip that. Yeah, 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 go clip that. But no, but for real, like, it really, majority really starts in a whole like culture aspect. Because mm-hmm. if you really think about it, usually one of them, like those main, Cult, um, that we, for example, the KKK, majority of them are just a whole bunch of white folks. If you really think about it, in other in other religions uh, and other like cults, it'd be specific demographics. It'd be right. specific, you know, people who who have the similar um, culture, you know. So it's like when you when you really think about it. In my opinion, I feel like we there there needs to be like a line to draw, um, of like. This is too, because in a way, in my opinion, there be some, some like, you know, culture things that Haitians apply in, 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 uh, in a Christian walk that I'm aware of that I'm not really, I'm, I'm, I, I, not, it don't, it don't really affect me too much. Like, mm-hmm. I'm not worried about it. It's like, if anything, like, I do, I, I, I'm trying to think of one, but I can't even think of, but there's like, I'm not sure, there's not every single culture thing that, that's applied in Christianity from Haitians mm-hmm. that I'm like, Rebuke, rebuke, rebuke. But right. there is some Certain things. things are off the wall. But yeah, yeah. so then you got to ask yourself, though, it's like, where do you draw that line, though? Correct. Like, and where do you draw that line? Well, from from my, from my experience, right? What mm-hmm. I see and, you know, when we, uh, especially with the youth, when the youth is not connected with the elderly, yeah, it could really push them out Absolutely. of the church. Absolutely. Right? It, right? it so happens That abuse can churches. push them out of the church. Yeah. yeah. So uh, one thing is, like, you know, because... <clears throat> you can't expect somebody mm-hmm. that is now accepting Christ is now growing in their faith to be all knowledgeable. Yeah. Right. And even you that have been practicing, you know, yeah. you know, faith for so long, you who've been, you're still, in, not in, you know, Christianity for so long, you've been in the church for so long. Mm-hmm. You're still not a perfect Christian. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. yeah. Like if, if we could stop sinning, like, I mean this. If we could stop sinning, there's no need for the blood of, of Christ on the, on the cross. Yeah. That is true. <laughs> right? Because we are a sinner. That's why he died for our past, present, and future, and future and sin. Future. Mm-hmm. Right? We are sinners. Yeah. Right? All so, is falling so, short. That's yeah, true. That's there's no perfection, you know, in us. Right? Everything that we are able to get forgiven for is from Christ, man. Yeah. And nothing else. But what... What a person like that will do is they'll tell you you're not religious enough. Mm-hmm. Right? That happens. Or, or they'll tell you that you don't know how to pray. Yeah. Right? And they'll tell you that, you know, um, you are weak spiritually. Mm-hmm. Right? And what does that do? Right? It, For it, somebody it's that's it's just accepts Christ, somebody that's yeah. just walking in their faith, is that motivation or is that a form of abuse that could lead them out of the huh. church? People be telling people, oh, the problem... Oh, I'm about to be messy, yo. <laughs> some people be like, be telling like the problem was was wrong with some of the youth is that they don't pray. Mm. But yet the same Bible that we read and tells us to go pray in secret. So even if you don't know, how do you? Yeah. How do you know? I can, I can, I don't pray. pray. Exactly, and even even like you can tell me like we don't pray. I'm praying in secret. So whether that was true or not, you do not know. Yeah. You don't like, know. But that's, but and like, well, to go back to like the spiritual abuse, like mm-hmm. it, it looks like, um, where the way to kind of like, where it looks like it's like people target ignorance. Right. People target like you don't know. Yeah. That's why, that's why a lot of Haitians like they're, they're, they're big on like the whole age thing. Like I'm, I'm, I'm still being told like, Oh, oh, you just people. a kid. Like, yeah. you don't know what you're doing. You don't people, know what you're talking about. Like, people who's married, got their own crib, kids and all for years. 
Still, and I'm looking at my dad telling me, oh, they still call them people Timun. What? How are they kids? How are they Timun? It's a, it's a bad it's mentality. It's a bad mentality. You woke up, you a grown man with kids. <laughs> oh, you, not a, you was not one of them. No, you're an adult. It's, it's, a, it's a bad mentality, man. And we need to respect people mm-hmm. um, no matter what their age. Facts, right? man. So I was reading Matthew, mm-hmm. Matthew 18. Uh, and Ooh, I have it here. Oh, you do? I do. I do. <laughs> 18 verse 6. Yeah. Go ahead and read it for me. Okay, okay. The whole verse or just six? Um, read, check, read verse one first. All right. All right. Yeah, because we need to know, like, why did this come about? Yes, okay. we read in context here, people. Yeah. Right. You know, out of context here. <laughs> yes. We're not Bible thumpers. About that time, the disciples came to Jesus and asked, Who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? Jesus. Pause. <laughs> <laughs> Pause, right? Yeah. Pause. So, it's so human of the disciples to ask that question. Mm-hmm. Right? Because we all, we always compete for space. We always compete for positions. Yeah. 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 You know what I mean? We always try to show ourselves to be greater than the next one. Yeah. True. Right? I mean, we do it at work. Trust and believe it. Mm-hmm. It's done at church too. Absolutely. You know, like that's very sad. Like, no, it it is sad. Especially but, now in the age true. of like social media, everything is really performative. Correct. You know, Correct. it it Correct. it is. Who could hit the highest note? Who can? Who could read? Better? Who can? Who can fall out the best? Like, <laughs> He could jump on a stage and yeah. crazy and hop up the crowd. Who the holy ghost cast faster? Yeah. <laughs> and let the church make the mistakes and put these cameras inside the church. Wow. It's over. <laughs> it's over. Because, first of all, the media team is going to try to get what? The cries? Mm-hmm. The fallouts? Uh, I be getting them. I, I, I be, I be, I would be a media team member here, guys. I be she part of the audience. I be it's all like, up on y'all faces. Sorry. You know, and because that's what appears to move people. Yeah, yeah man. Right? Bunch of so cheerleaders. The disciples asked that question of Jesus, like, you know, in the kingdom of heaven, who is greater? Mm-hmm. Go ahead. Come to okay, okay, read okay. it. <laughs> the response two. is great. Verse 2. Jesus called a little child to him, and he put the child among them. Mm-hmm. And he said, I tell you the truth. Unless you turn from your sins and become like little children, you will never get into the kingdom of heaven. So anyone who becomes as humble as this little child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. Stop right there. You <laughs> <laughs> can stop right there. Man, humility is it's it's the hardest thing. It is. For especially as you get older. Practice, bro. Yes. Especially. Especially as you get older. And especially as you gain knowledge, mm-hmm. as you get wiser spiritually, you you know you want to be like I'm big and bad. Like I know that you don't, you know, right. like it's, it's also okay. Ima- imagine too. this, right? And that's why Jesus was Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. He's him. Oh, the trust. Mm-hmm. I have to do faith. I have, right? Come on now, we all know. Oh, Yo, <laughs> we gonna address this. Big God. But let's go. Um, Jesus said you have to become like one of these children's Mm -hmm. right if you know kids are they independent of their parents or dependent of their parents oh very there's a lot of moment we need to catch on camera we're gonna cut that out (laughs) no No, we're not Very, but, be very anyway, dependent. Kids are dependent of their parents. Yeah. Whatever they need, they trust their parents to, to provide, provide for exactly. them. Exactly. Yep. Right? And we teach kids humility. Mm-hmm. Right? We well, I hope you teach your kids humility. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, <I> need to. <laughs> Nowadays you don't know. You know what I mean? <laughs> I think they do. Right? We, we so don't. so Humility is something that we don't practice enough. Mm-hmm. Yes, enough. Like, because you are in position of authority, it does not mean that people always have to bow down to you. Ooh, hallelujah. True. It does not mean that, but we take the place of authority mm-hmm. and we use it and we abuse people that are under us. Let me, some, wow. let me tell you something. Let me tell you something <laughs> I learned about leadership 
Leadership is about empowering others, especially those who are Woo. underneath you. Empowering yeah. others. You That's what leadership is. Yeah. Like, truthfully, for me to look good as a leader, I have to install you know courage mm-hmm. i have to i have to make sure you know that i trust you yeah. steward stewardship mm-hmm. stewardship yeah true i Absolutely. trust you because at the end of the day if you look good i, I automatically look, look good yeah. as a leader you automatically look good i automatically look good so i have to do that leadership does not mean that you look you lead brutally mm-hmm. right it means that you lead with love. Yeah. And it, and it, don't you find it crazy how the way that you can become or look as good as you want it to be is when you start to become selfless and make somebody look as good as you want yourself to be? Bro, like, don't you find that ironic? I mean, that's what the Bible talks about. Crazy. <laughs> exactly. We're just not following the Bible. But you know, that's with that crazy. verse though, Sam, you know, that's when I feel like spiritual abuse come in mm-hmm. because. The, God says we have to be like children, meaning yeah. we need to humble ourselves and meaning discipline. Mm-hmm. We need to be disciplined. Dependency I feel like is the is the number one so, thing. Yeah. Exactly. I feel like sometimes with you know, like with the people that the leaders we have, some of them is like they I feel like they miss misuse the word discipline and use that as a spiritual abuse. Cause it's like if you have to be a kid, I have to put you down. Like you have to, you know how with the Haitian culture. You can, I cannot look you in the yeah, eye when I'm like talking to you. It's like to be seen, not heard. Not it's nothing. a culture thing. And then when and you come to America, what is the culture? If you don't look somebody in the eye, that's, that's, so that's, that's a, a sign of disrespect. So it's like you really don't know where you so stand. So if we're in Haiti, basically. then yeah, I could follow that. But, but like mm-hmm. here, there's oh. no... They, they, this just happened. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> but here is it's different. But I will be remiss if I don't do this. I know we're talking about leadership and I know we're talking about, you know, the pastor role, Mm -hmm. but in the same token, Mm -hmm. the church can be abusive to their leaders. Oh, yes. Okay. Very. Yes. The church can be abusive to their leaders. Um, We do have some leaders who does not lead with an iron fist, Mm -hmm. right? And because of the way that they are, because of their humility, because Mm -hmm. of their Their kindness, kindness, Right, people some people back. can take advantage of yeah. that all the time. Yeah, right. Absolutely. And and what? I name a couple. Right. <laughs> we not name drop. Yeah, we can't name gotcha, drop gotcha. anybody. Gotcha. 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 And you will find out that like those leaders will go. They will struggle in church. Yeah. They will struggle because the church abuses them. Yeah. I think you know one thing I realized like as a member in a church when it comes to like leadership because you know I had to take a class about leadership to understand it and it made me understand that as a leader you're a servant because you have to serve orders mm-hmm. and then like what I see members do is that because you for example you're the pastor like you're supposed to do this for me I like you're supposed to answer my call 24/7 or you're supposed to live this life where yeah. you don't sin, you don't make any mistake. You know yeah. that is abusive. That's when we go wrong. We that's are that's when we start idolizing, you know, leaders yeah. instead of taking them, you know, for spiritual abuse like, towards yeah. the leaders. You should be praying for your leader, fact, right? Because they time. they too fall. They they do fall and and they they make mistakes. They're man. humans, and and sometimes they make bad decisions. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> Just true. like the rest of us, they are human. All has they they have short. Short. <laughs> yes. Correct. But you know, I feel like all of this is an issue because. We do not have, if people do not have a relationship with God, because mm-hmm. if you have a relationship with God, even if you have a leader that making mistake, you should trust the God that's in him. Mm-hmm. And if he is serving the same God and you're under that person's authority, then it shouldn't be a problem because that person could live because it's a, it's a job. God gave him the job and God can remove him. And if God remove him, at the end of the day, you know, God going to bring somebody else to guide you. So with the relationship you have with God, you shouldn't be able to mistreat it, you know, your leaders. Because it's the God, you know, the God is speaking. Because you know how people do that? Oh, if that person is not talking, I'm not coming. If it's not this leader. Because yeah. I know in the past, he used to be a bad pastor. Not, But you don't know. Like 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 Caleb said, you don't know in secret if that person is not asking God for forgiveness. But I don't think that's leaders or pastors in particular. I think that's us. Yeah. We, we judge people based on their past. Okay. Like we are, and it's not a bad thing for us to judge. But when you wrong, wrongfully judge someone, it is a bad thing. Yeah, right? I think because like, who they were is not who they, they are. are. Yeah, yeah. You can, you can judge somebody for their past actions, but not like hold it over their head. I guess condemn you know? them. Yes, exactly. It's like let's say, let's say, right now today, God forbid, 
I I got drunk and I started driving and got into a big old car accident, right? Ten years down the line, I don't drink, I'm sober. You can't keep holding that over my head and be like, Well, you can't get in a car because you gon' you know, like that's not But you when know, people wanna, you know, have control over you. They're gonna they they use they're you always gonna take they something to, about you yeah, exactly. right to have control. That's what I'm saying, like and that's where the abuse comes from. The spiritual yeah. like abuse like spiritual abuse really comes from like that ignorance. Like but what's crazy though, even from the scripture that we just read in Matthew, mm-hmm. like it's like, but think about a child though. How ignorant are they? How like not knowledgeable of what they? Uh, how not knowledgeable are they? You know, mm-hmm. they don't really know much. Mm-hmm. All they know is that whatever I want and need, I get You're it from get a it. particular person. Yeah, and this particular person is my father, or my mother. So it's like, if you really think about that, but then the question that asked that that God that Jesus brought up with children was. How does heaven look like, right? How does, How does heaven look like? And it says it looks like a child. It looks like a child dependent, mm-hmm. humble. Like, like you think about that, and then it makes me think about that 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 culture, that 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 Haitian culture, where it's like you still viewed as a child, no matter how old you get. As long as there's somebody older, you're still a child. Like I remember there was this one time at my church. I, there was one time at my church, they was doing like this little question thing and they asked me, um, like something about like, when did you find out that you were not like a young, where, where you found that you, you taught, you told yourself that you're not a kid anymore. Something like that. Around, mm-hmm. Something around those lines. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then I answered when I found out that by 18, if I steal something, I could get trial by an adult. <laughs> I got trial by an adult. I said, so at 18, if I went to go steal something, it's a wrap. You but I jail. could be 15. It's still something I probably I won't get the same punishment. But at 18 in this world that we live in, mm-hmm. you steal something, you will get jail time. That's it. You will get so it's like yeah. you will be trialed as an adult. So it made me think and made me shift my mindset that yo, like that that time of like being a kid is up. But what about that Haitian mindset though? They make it so hard for somebody to realize that. Yeah, Respect like, is not fear. And then now when we get to the spiritual aspect, it's like I, I pray to God. I do my best to pray to him every single day, every single day, at least like three times. Like I try my best to pray to him every single day. And even when I miss a day or even when I miss two days, I'm still going to want to go pray. Mm-hmm. I, I know, I know to this day that I would not be here if it wasn't for the love and the grace and the mercy of Jesus Amen. Christ. So it's like for me recognizing that, in my opinion, that shows already enough maturity to realize that you, there's no reason why you deserve. The, there's no reason why you should get the things that you have. There's no reason why you should be alive to this day. Mm-hmm. Realizing that, in my opinion, is a self, is a maturity thing. Mm-hmm. But then when you got a culture that's going against that, it's like, bro, this is against what I'm reading. This is what this is against of the God that we're serving. Well, mm-hmm. that's why the Bible tells us to test faiths. Uh, test I'm, spirits. Yeah, man. All right, because it's not Target everybody ignorance. that comes to you, that speaks to you, that opens the Bible, that reads a verse and starts speaking on it, that are really from God. Yeah. I I I remember I was having this conversation with um I think you or or your wife and I was I was talking about how like sometimes people in the church do things that aren't of the church. And because of that, it's like how can I continue to serve the same God they serve? Mm. you know mm. that, that's tough and it's like mm. in 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 those cases like me like i went through it and like i low-key still am a little bit but it's like your 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 spirit doesn't sit right in the church because of what's going on around you and then it's harder to you know because it's like you go to church for for god like you don't go to you you know i mean i think we said that last time right like the purpose of church is community it's Communion. a community of believers, <laughs> right, is. coming together, yeah. right, to to worship, to pray, and and whatnot. And <clears throat> we turn it into something else. We turn it into our personal business. Uh, <laughs> yeah, man. Like what? Like what? Like, like, <laughs> like I think in today's day and age, pastoring is such a business yeah. thing, yeah, man. man. Like everybody, I, like literally, I people will, will say, pastor. you know, as. As a as a career, I want to be a pastor. Yeah, <laughs> right. And, and it's okay. Figures. It's okay for you to to want to be a pastor, but most of the time is because of the money that's attached to it, no, not, not really the calling. 
Mm-hmm. Right? Because like we hear it all the time and I had to really sit down to analyze and understand this. Mm-hmm. Right? We hear this phrase all the time. Right? Um, it says that, you know, God qualifies the call. Mm-hmm. Right, God is the one that qualifies. The not call. everybody has it. I can get up right now. I want to be a right? pastor, but, but I'm, your education I'm not is not supposed what to qualifies be a pastor, you. Then. Your education is not what qualifies you. Uh, your history is not what qualifies you. Think about it as a resume. Mm-hmm. Right, your, the history that you have is not what qualifies you. Is the call from God? Yeah, that qualifies you. You want right? it to do it doesn't mean you can. You can do correct or should. think about yeah. think about like the resume between. Um, if I, if I remember this, Saul and David. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. because of Saul, like, what he... Like, I remember J, it was my dog Jason. He he said this one time in Bible study. He was like, if Saul did not, like, fold, like, he didn't, like, you know, um, like, did what he did, basically. I forgot what it was, but if he didn't, like, turn against from God, like, Jesus will be called the son of Saul mm. instead of the son of David. Mm. He'd be called son of Saul. And I was like, no, I never really thought about that, but that's cool. But then you really, you you, you realize like who Saul was and who David was. The difference because of the daily devotion, regardless of the title, regardless of the position that David was in, he was still a servant because mm-hmm. he was David still was dependent on God. On God, exactly. But Saul, and look, was, because of everything that he had gained. It, he no longer depended on the God that placed him there in the first place. Wow. He just became like, look at that. You know that that's, that's all, he knew, all he knew was what Jesus just said. Wow, God, no contradictions in your word. That's crazy. Man. But like what, we, what what Jesus just said, mm-hmm. it looks like children, humble, like children who's ignorant, mm-hmm. who doesn't know much, but know who to call on when they're in need yeah. or when they want something. So it was like, David, he knew. I don't know everything, but I know God. And look what David had. David took Saul's place. Yeah. Yeah. That's crazy, man. The very, the very thing, like how it's so crazy how ignorance mm-hmm. um can take you so far. It's just as long as you know who you serve mm-hmm. and you know who you're dependent on. It's crazy how that can take you so far than knowing everything or going through life experiences. Like it's crazy how how far it'll take you. Yeah. Right. It's crazy. And man. by the word ignorant and that particular setting, we're not talking about you being dumb. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. You just don't know. You just uh, don't know. Yeah, yeah. Don't be dumb. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> don't be dumb. You just don't know. But when it, come, like- when it comes to God, mm-hmm. it's best for you to rely on who he is than what you know. Fact. Okay. Because who he is is greater than anything that you can imagine. Yeah. Um, right. I-, I have a question because I was thinking, do you guys feel, I mean, do you guys think that sucks you? I don't know how you say it in English. Like it's suspension? A, like it, time out? Yes, time out. <laughs> Do you feel like it's a spiritual it's not abuse? Biblical. It's not biblical. Is it a spiritual abuse? It is spiritual abuse. I think so. It's not biblical. Because it's because, the sinning. Why are you taking them away from the place that Yeah, came? not even sinning. It's it's a form of punishment that is made by the church, mm-hmm. right? Uh, to justify, you know, um, uh, to justify power. It's a form of exile. Yeah, to, yeah. to justify power. If you think about this, if somebody sinned, Yes, yes, I do believe in, you know, you sitting down to reflect on, you know, yourself, yourself and get yourself together. Because, like, for example, there's certain things that you as a person should already know, right? If you were if you were somebody that was heavily involved in the church, and when I'm saying that, like, you, you are in the eye of the public most of the time, mm-hmm. right? And let's say now you uh, went and got pregnant out of wedlock. So Let, let's put it like that. Yeah. Right? It's it's extremely difficult for me to say, oh, it's okay for you to continue to do what you were doing, right? Yeah. Because now you're being served as an example, mm-hmm. right? To the others following. So I understand that. I understand approaching that person, but it's not about rejecting them. It's not about pushing them away. Yeah. Right? If anything, you should be drawing that person even closer. Closer, because it's not, it's not the, it's not the person. It's like you know the action. It's both. It's both. I've heard this before, but it's both. I would have to disagree with you on that one, just real quick, <laughs> right? It's both because you are the person that committed the action. Yeah. Right. And sometimes we want to detach the action from the person, mm-hmm. and that's not that's not something you know that we should be doing, right? 
Uh, Paul says, you know, I, I, we reference Paul here too much. <laughs> yeah, hey, bro. He the number one guy, bro. He don't want to hell him back, bro. Man. Yo. <laughs> but, like, in nature, you know, we are bad and we want to do that in yeah. nature. Yeah. Right? So the good that comes from us comes from Christ. Right? So it's not detached from us. So that's where I'm at. I, that. That. I, 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 I want to ask a question because with the example, you know, like if you have a kid. So let's say, for example, right? Let's say somebody got pregnant before marriage. And, you know, that, that's a, I mean, I always said the sin is you had sex because it's not the kid. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you be, you had sex and then you have a kid that basically proved evidence. Well, the sin is you had sex before marriage. Before marriage. Yes, that's yes, that. The, before marriage. The sex, okay, yes. Sex uh, is sin. a gift from God. <laughs> It's a gift from God. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> what is that, man? So yeah, so God, yeah. God created. God if you want to catch up to that, you could watch our previous. Yes. <laughs> when we discuss marriage. Yes. Yeah. So so we we know the sin already, and you know, like mm-hmm. I understand if the church approached the person like, okay, I need you to sit down for a little bit to, you know, to reflect on your action and stuff and you cannot do certain stuff at the church. But then it's like, I know people that the church sit down for a long time and then they want to do stuff. They want to do things at the church, but it's like, but well, you had a kid. Or you, you had this me. thing or you have a children. But my thing is, this is, this is my question. Can the person feel, I mean, I know life is not fair, but if you're judging somebody with a kid, what what happens to the people that are having sex behind closed doors? Who don't have a kid. Who don't have a kid, but, but they, still but sinning, they're but they're still, still on stage. They're still on stage, stuff. they're still this, leading, they're still is, doing this. This, and this is, is where I tell you it is not biblical, right? Because it's a form of punishment. And if you're going to punish one person for, you need to punish everybody. for um, exposed sin, mm-hmm. exposed, right? yes, there's, indeed. There's a difference. Yes, there is. <laughs> right? There, there's exposed sin and then there's secret sin. Yeah. Right? The secret sin, sin is what we don't see. The same people that, that are going to tell you to sit down, they secretly sin. Like they're doing the same thing. Right? Like Their sin is not them. exposed. Yeah. Now, if you are conscious about what you are sinning about and repenting, you know, at the same time, mm-hmm. and your goal is to elevate this person that are in their low moment, mm-hmm. go for it. Yeah. Go for it. You know what I mean? But if it's anything to like humiliate that person and yeah. and, and to set uh, to make an example out of them, mm-hmm. I would tell you to run from that man because Absolutely. God 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 does not like ugly. I, <laughs> I think I think um before I forget, I wrote it down too. So like going back to so good, going back to the, the children example, it's like yeah, we know, we all know children are dependent, but children are dependent all the time, not just when things are good. Exactly. Like, a lot of the times, people get lost in the sauce, they get lost in the blessing, you know, yes. and they're like, and they're like, well, I'm up here, you know, I'm a pastor, I'm, I'm this, I'm this, I'm that. <laughs> yes. I'm up here, I'm this, I'm just promoting yes. people. <laughs> I'm this, I'm this, I'm that, and they forget that they still need God, you know, because like, 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 Job, through it all, like, when he was, when he was on top, like, blessed, everything he had, everything in the world, he was still faithful every single day. You know, he was like, God, thank you. He was still serving, being being selfless. And then when it got like taken away from him, he didn't sit there. He didn't falter. He wasn't like, oh, well, God isn't real because why would he let him do? No, he still sat there and he was like, I trust you completely, like wholeheartedly. Oh, I he know. complained a whole lot. He complained. I mean, I think there's a difference but, between oh, complaining. Oh, hey, I think, I think <laughs> you're allowed to hey, complain. Children though. complain, I though. Complain. <laughs> I would complain. It's definitely complain, but that's okay. I would but complain, that is okay. but he still okay. trusted but in I'm, his you know, heart. So he still many believed. people have used that example. And to show that, you know, he did not complain. I was not saying not to complain. I'm reading that. I'm like, why are you complaining? I would be be hearing my mouth. (laughs) (laughs) With with his story, when I was reading, he rebuked his birth. I'm like, hold up. That didn't teach me that. One thing he did not do. He never doubted God. He never tried God in his set. He didn't try. He ain't <laughs> never tried God. <laughs> he, didn't try God. he was rebuking his birth, doing all that stuff, and but he ain't never did. tried God. Because he knew you better. That. And that, he that's knew the better. difference. That, because in the end, there was still reverence correct. for yeah. who he served. Correct, correct. Like, one thing about, like, about the whole Sunction thing, about, like, you know, the timeout, in my opinion, I'm all for, you know, um, what's the word I'm trying to look for? 
I feel like there's in, in in certain consequences or things that you go through, like after mm-hmm. you know an exposed sin. You need the that. main thing that's mm-hmm. needed is the restoration, restoration, or redemption. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it's like even if let's say the church did put somebody on sanction, just, and but what they I, I just don't like is to hear so they say so he she could go think about what they did. Okay, say for example. I'm sure they're say thinking for about example, it they was you put about them on social for it. for God knows how long for telling them to think about what he. How you know they're thinking about what they did? How do you know that they're actually going to God and actually feeling like some type of guilt? You know that yo Lord, I just went against your will. Ah, oh, just like how do you really know that? Like my thing is, it's like about the power thing. It, it's like in my opinion, there is no other reason why you would tell somebody. Sit this one out if through the, through that whole time out, you're not checking up. Oh, exactly. how you yeah. doing? What's going on? But, that 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 shows power. That's does not that doesn't show it redemption. Shows, no, actually, it, it shows, doesn't show love. It shows abuse of power. Exactly. Yeah. It's, it's abuse of power. Because if if you're telling me that somebody falls, right, mm-hmm. and you know that they fall. And you're not right. gonna if help you them know get that they fall or give them right, any support. Your way. position should be to encourage. Yeah. Uplift, right, and help restore. Yeah, right. If that person is spiritually weak, it is your responsibility, right? To now, lift that as up. a church community, mm-hmm. it's your responsibility to help lift that person, exactly. right? Like, and then, what does it look like once that time passed? What happened after that? You don't that? just go away. Like what you continue to that? keep the person in your prayers. But you know, you know, I know we are using the extreme, right? We're using yeah. the extreme. Somebody that's pregnant, mm-hmm. but there's so many things that happen in the church. You know, oh. where youth yeah. are they, r- running away, and even adults. Like, let me give you an example. Mm-hmm. Think yeah. about this: a church that demands for you to be present every day, right? And let's say that person is married because they love serving the church so much. Mm-hmm. Right, you ask so much of them. They're present, right? They're present Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Very faithful. What time do they have with their spouse? Mm-hmm. And if right. you are a leader that's observing this, you you sh- you should pull that person aside and say, "Sis, go you home. can you can go home. <laughs> you go home. You go take husband. care of your husband. <laughs> go cook. Yeah, go clean. <laughs> what should we go clean? And plus, clean. Come on now. Look, 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 it's not just go home. Don't come back here on Mondays anymore. Yeah. Don't come back on Tuesdays. You could come for Friday night prayer, right? And come for your Sunday, you know, services. Come for quiet, your quiet. Don't come back here every day ever again because your family needs to be taken care of. But because even God says, sorry, God said but, family first. But, right. But as bad leaders, they will, People are they'll like, praise you, right? Here every oh, single day, all day. All, they'll, like, they'll praise you, you know. Oh, she is... You know, selfless. She's always she here. She's always, <laughs> she's here. always working hard for even, the church. Yes. Even I'm though, quiet mo- mo- even <laughs> though, <laughs> she's always showing up for us. Yeah, it's, it, like, it's it's abuse God, because they, they themselves are not. You know, they're, they're not going to be at the church twenty four seven. Right. And then right. It's like, <laughs> crazy. It be the very same people trying to like tell them boys, "Oh, good job." They ain't even doing it themselves. Yeah. They be pissing me off. I'm tired of people trying to like tell them boys, oh, good job, good job. You are at church 24-7 doing this, doing You're a leader. What are you doing? Are you here? No, and then you want to go tell that person, no, get out my face like that. I'm like, I'm, like, like, I'm, I'm, I'm not about. trying to cuss, but like, y'all boys be throwing me, bro. I'm <laughs> no, no, not even fine. here. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead, bro. Go ahead, bro. A lot of times with that, it becomes a thing where it's like they're gonna recognize you in public during a conference. But oh, that, I want to say, I want to say thank you to so and so. The 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 past twelve months of the year, they I've been here every single. Doing. They don't <laughs> care. <laughs> they, see, they see that it's done, and that's all they want to know. They don't of care course. who did it, how did it, what you sacrificed. They don't care. Look, and then it becomes. A, I'm sorry. They don't no, even no, know no, you no, here because no. they not even hit them. Exactly. It becomes, <laughs> a thing, it becomes a thing where it's like they want everybody. That goes back to like how it can be cultish. It's like they want these people to be so consumed in everything of the church. Like they want I your whole so. life to revolve around the church. Work is on the back burner. You're not making no money. Your job, your your job's about to fire you because you're never there because you're always clocking out to come clean the church. You just got the audacity to um, do it for free. 
Oh, that, that's oh, another kid. That's another oh, abuse. Oh, that's, that's abuse. That's another that's abuse. That's what I'm talking about. That's abuse. Now, now, now let, let me, let me, Don't let me say this. <laughs> Don't care. Let me say this. So, Don't care. So, clean the church is not a bad thing. It's a great thing. It's a working, 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 in, working in the church, working, working in the church is not a bad thing. Because I remember oh. when we were younger, like me and my boys, like what we used to do is like we used to come to the church on Saturdays. Like we would have like you know like without somebody telling us, right? We used to do this like we we used to have like of uh, uh, Saturday morning prayers, mm-hmm. right, at our church. So we go meet up at the church. We do Saturday morning prayer, and then after that, we'll clean the whole church. Mm-hmm. I t- I lied to you guys not. We did that for years. Nobody noticed. Mm-hmm. Of course not. Right? Nobody noticed. But I loved it though. Yeah. Because we weren't doing it for people. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? We weren't doing it for acknowledgement. It's just something that we, as we were there, mm-hmm. we're like, hey, y'all, like, we should clean the church. And we would clean bathrooms. Like, you know, we will vacuum, like the whole nine, bro. Yeah. And we weren't looking for acknowledgement. We were looking for, you know, uh, somebody, you know, clapping for clap us. For and yeah, it was but... more fulfilling than, you know, somebody so kind of, telling you in I, public. You know, I you agree that. with that. But I think I'm not saying like if you do something in the church, you always need to be acknowledged in public in front of the, the, the congregation. But I'm saying like it's. It's human nature to want some type of validation. You know, it's like sure. if you're if if I'm going to devote so much of my time, I want to make sure that like I'm at least appreciated, you know, because it's like I can be here every day doing something. And then the one day I'm not here. Oh, where are you? Da, 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 but every other day that I am here, it's oh, I don't care about her. Man, we do that. To think, take to kind of, you know, to kind of that's take, wrong. I to kind of like, take what um what you had said, Sam, Um, to kind of take it deeper, like about uh, about the whole cleaning the church thing. You know, I think. Because of that, that act of like service Mm -hmm. every Saturday to just pray and to clean. I feel like because of that service, like that, that, that servitude, like that wanting to just do something just for the kingdom made, in my opinion, to take this deeper to like kind of set up an atmosphere in the church where somebody can actually be saved. Some probably like somebody was probably saved and redeemed. Absolutely. Because of that service too that you were doing and that you and your dolls were doing every Saturday for years. Because of that act of just giving. We're praying. We're praying. So now not only are you just preparing this house of worship, but you're also filling this house of worship with prayer. And we all know the power of prayer. Yeah. We all know what what prayer can do. So because of that consecutive and that consistency, every Saturday just going there, mm-hmm. cleaning, praying. Somebody probably was saved from hell, dog. Yeah. Like somebody probably was headed towards the grave. Mm-hmm. And because of that, they were healed. Mm-hmm. They were set free. They knew Jesus. Lives were changed. Mm-hmm. And and to talk about the topic, their spiritual abuse became nothing to them because they felt the spirit in that church. Maybe in other days when they came, when other um, this could be for anybody who probably who probably stepped foot in that building. And I'm just I'm just assuming here. But like that could probably be anybody who was probably dealing with spiritual abuse and feel set free walking to that same building that they probably felt that spiritual abuse, that spiritual abuse from yeah. because of that act of just service, yeah. giving, praying, cleaning that stuff mm-hmm. literally probably saved somebody's life. And, and that's so big to me. But what's crazy, though, you did that as a young as a young guy, we were young, bro. As a young guy, we, we were in our teens. We were in high school when we were doing that. <laughs> wow, <dog. laughs> we were in high school. Man, I'm but so big on this, bro. With, with all that being, with, with all that, you know, we said a lot. We did. A lot. We said a lot. Counter mm-hmm. spiritual abuse. I, I would say, read your word and know what God calls you to do, mm-hmm. and who He calls you to be. Mm-hmm. Right, uh, because a lot of times, like. People are able to take advantage of us because we don't know better ourselves. True. Right? And never give anybody a reason to hold you down. Shots. Yeah. Right? So be careful who you talk to. Be careful of the leaders that you share your secrets with. Mm-hmm. Because some people will use that to you. abuse you. Yeah. Right, because they're gonna hold you hostage. You don't gotta tell now. Anybody I'm not that. saying for you not to go and talk to someone, but trust, like, test that person's spirit first. 
to make sure they have the spirit of God in them, mm -hmm. right? Okay. Because they ain't, they, they, they are supposed to uplift you. Yeah. They are supposed to rebuke you as well, but they need to do that with love, compassion, kindness, right? Mm -hmm. So if, not if, Jesus Christ is the greatest teacher that we ever had, will ever have, Absolutely. will always have. So the mind of Christ tells us to serve the people who are serving us. Like, and that's tough to do. Yeah. So as a leader, be careful on how you respond to somebody else's downfall because mm -hmm. you never know. Never know. Life is weird that way. It is. Yeah. So with that being said, man, this was another take of tap in. Um, Man, y'all boys. It was a good one. Love this topic, boy. It was a good one. It was. Love this topic, It was. But we're going to continue to talk about this. Um, hopefully, you like, subscribe, comment, comment. and please subscribe. Yes. <laughs> hey, subscribe. <laughs> subscribe to our YouTube. It's Tap In The Audible Podcast. Um, subscribe to our IG. Uh, Tap In The Audible Podcast as well. You can send us an email. Tap into the audible podcast at gmail.com. Yes. Am I missing anything? No. Nope. I'll be so. Nothing. Um, what's it called? If you have any questions, you know, feel free to feel free to DM, reach out, anything. You're gonna talk to me directly. Oh. That's, that's right. <laughs> if y'all want to tussle, I'm gonna tussle with y'all. Oh, also, <laughs> um, shout out to my fellow um fans out there. If you feel like <laughs> sowing a seed into this, oh please, this. we need it. <laughs> Please sow a seed. Yes. Sow a seed. As we record, sow a seed. we're hot. But no, sow a seed. You feel me? Sow a seed. It's all cool. You know, bless bless people. You feel me? As we bless you, yeah. bless, us. bless us. I'll, I'll drop. Oh, I'll, drop I'll drop. I'll drop my cash out. Bless people. Bless people. Bless people. Come on, let's start that trend, bro. Bless people. Bless clip that. Bless people, bless people, bless people. Go ahead and tap, 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 tap in.